What's going on? It's Chris here. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today we're back with a review on the brand new LEGO kits that were just added today in LEGO Fortnite. Now, if you don't know what LEGO kits are, basically they're similar to the free builds that you have in LEGO Fortnite, but I'm pretty sure these are going to be based on POIs, characters, possibly collabs, and actual LEGO sets. And um, just to make clear, Epic did say that they're going to continue adding free kits to LEGO Fortnite and future updates. So I'm pretty sure that's what they mean by item shop stuff is just gonna be collabs stuff based on skins and Lego sets so with that being said let's get right into everything and yeah so the first thing we're checking out here is the bundle um, I have two examples of what we're gonna showcase here we got the full on bundle which is around 2000 V bucks and the thing over here which is the idea they have basically we already have cheaper options for you to get where you don't have to get the full bundle and this is like 1200 V-Bucks which is still all expensive and um, we'll get to the prices really later um, my thoughts on that later but with that being said let's get right into things so the first three buildings we are checking out are of course the bundle the Gerberger bundle which are the um, as follows they are the Take out the counter, the flagship restaurant, and of course the franchise, which is the Greasy Grove building from chapter one and chapter three, pretty much when that appeared. So over here we got the Durberger. Now of course it's nighttime, so we can't really see everything to its full glory. But um, all I did try to do here is I try to include all the props into one building, so you guys kind of have an idea what you're going to get when you get the bundle. So over here you got like um, a little beach umbrella, you got a lot of the chairs that you're going to see here are from the Durburger thing. And of course you got Durburger himself, which sadly you cannot place on top of the sign. Th that's sad. I, I really wanted to do that. I, I just, I really thought we would be able to put it on the sign. So this is like the um, season, chapter one, season five version, I guess, because we cannot place it on the sign at all, which is really sad. But with that being said, it's fine. Just let us get a drift version of it, please. Um, <laughs> now, over here you got a little uh, light, and of course when you go in, you got a little um, rug here for Durberger as well. You got a little counter, you got like uh, this little thing that kind of shows a menu that you kind of see. Like, kind of similar to chapter one, when you went around, there's like, kind of similar like, to the few trucks when you outside, you got the umbrellas and stuff going out the thing. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, you got a little um, burger wall decoration. And of course you got the, um, Little booths that you can sit at. Not much going on here besides getting stuck in a booth, which, um, yeah, we're permanently stuck in. Uh, that's it for the video, guys. We're, we're stuck. No, just kidding. I, mean, I can find my way out. Can we just. Is there actually no way out? Hmm. Well, I see there's only one way out. And now it's destroying the restaurant to get in. Let me out. Okay, there we go. We're free. We just have to cause destruction. <laughs> okay, so over here, we, of course, we got a little like um, purple chair, which um, hopefully will not cause the same fate for us. And of course, you got the outside door, and then you got over here, you got cash registers. You got the thing over here. You got a little drink dispenser, and some counters here that you can actually open. And you got some napkins. You got another thing of the counters, and you got a little crate here. And you got a little thing here, which I really like. You can use this for like factory builds as well. And you got a little locker here. You can use this also so with that being said you can also go outside and you, this is where you'll find the um drive through sign which i really like and of course there's another thing which is a tiny thing but i like it it's a little crate it's the common comic um co common lego crate that you find in a lot of lego sets that comes with this so that's cool now something else I really like is a bunch of this like rooftop stuff um, as someone that is making a Lego City series here in Fortnite these are very useful for like roof decorations um, in very particular in this area over here which is the part 5 area that we had it would be very useful to add stuff in the um, top over there because there's a lot of AC units there's a lot of um, cool stuff a little piping and stuff that's um, pretty cool details that would be very useful for city building um, over here, of course, you got the umbrellas, which I think is hilarious, I'm being honest, because, um, of course, if you watched part five, I did create my own, um, well, umbrella design, and I think this is hilarious what they did, um, it looks funny, I really like it, and, yeah, 
I, I think it's uh, cool looking. Um, I think this mustard and ketchup thing is also funny. It kind of reminds me of something you would find, like, in the Expo Center. Because I remember going to, like, this, um, convention a few years ago. And it had, like, this giant Optimus Prime outside. This kind of what it reminds me of. It's weird that it reminds me of that, but it is. But, yeah, it's kind of funny. Now, these builds over here do not have an interior. Because I just wanted to use that one build to give an example. But this build really mu pretty much gives me like the feels of the um, build from Resale Row in Chapter 1, Season 5, or no, Season 8, before the volcano hit it, where they had the food battle storyline going on, and they built like um, competing restaurants in Retail Row. And Durberger created their little building, and this kind of reminds me of the layout they had in Chapter 1. And then, of course, over here, you got the building that's obviously the Greasy Grove original, kind of more the version from uh, Season 5, Chapter 1. And it's pretty empty. See, this is what happened when Tomato Head basically uh, came around and got the place closed, making false claims, saying there was uh, bugs and especially in bugs. And hard times happened, guys. It's, the place closed down. They took all the equipment with them. It, it's it's very sad, and we just have to deal with it. Sadly. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. But basically going up here, it's pretty much the same as it is in Chapter 1. And it's pretty much empty. But yeah, it's pretty cool that we have this now in LEGO Fortnite. At the sweet, sweet cost of 2,000 V-Bucks. <sighs> oh my god, these jokes, man. Um, but yeah, with that being said, we're going to go back outside and put my overall thoughts on this area. Now, overall, I really like it. Um, the builds and stuff I think they're really cool my only concerns are the actual price and of course the main gripe here my joking gripe is we can't put the Jer burger on the sign why why but with that being said we have the second thing we have to check out as well um, which is the beachside area now of course since this is the cheaper option of two um, I did not get all the props and stuff, so we just have the building thing here. Now, the reason why I got this particularly is for um, part six because I want to add like some more building things that are more like residential houses for part six, and I want a lot of different colors, tone, and these blue houses very do what they need to do, and I really like it. And um, of course, there's not much in here. You got this new carpet design. You got a little uh, she's shell chair, which I really like. Under the sea, am I right? Um, got a little um, thing here. You got this little um, shower as well. It kind of reminds me of stuff you would find in a track locker room because I'm a track athlete. And of course, <laughs> of course, you got um, this little fish trophy as well and this she she seashell um, shelf. And as well, you got this new fridge, which I much prefer over the fridge that we have for in the game right now. That's for free over um, here. I much prefer this um, right here I much prefer it, the new one over this it looks way nicer to me it's just something you would honestly feels more lived because you got the little sticky nose I guess I, I guess like that for that reason you got a little sink and yeah that's about it for this room but um besides that I really like the like color scheme of the counters and stuff because I definitely see me using these counters more than the counters that already are in the game because mostly we just have a lot of brown colors and stuff a bit of white, but still it's mostly brown, monochrome, and the blue teal stuff really is a different color contrast, and I like it way more, and it's something I do see myself using in future builds, especially if I do um, a survival thing by myself, or um, multiplayer, I definitely see me using this in my own builds, in my own little house as well, so it's way nice and cozy, that's something you would find, and I think matches this color thing that I really like. Um, as well, um, with that being said, we got some cool decorations outside, with that being said, like the little beach umbrellas, which I really like, um, and the little sand castles, which hopefully aren't Sandman, um, Flint Marco, because we don't want to deal with that Lego Marvel Superheroes nonsense here, where it just turns into a cannonball and tries to attack us. Um, of course, you got some floaties as well. You got a little duck floaty, and you got a llama floaty, which is um, submerged underwater. Underwater. Oh boy. Um, but over here you got some um, seaboards. Oh my god, surfboards. God, surfboards. You got some uh, buckets with um, flippers. Kind of probably belonging to Robin. Um, it is a weird, weird like suit. And of course you got some other diving equipment, a rubber ducky, probably belonging to Bert and Ernie. 
and other stuff as well. And of course the other build over here we have is the, I did not even showcase the, the names of the builds for this. You got the hideaway, which is the build we just checked out. And of course you get the little beach house, which we're going to right now. Now the beach house has a actual interior, unlike the other builds over there. Um, but you're gonna see, you're gonna love it. I, I love it, I know you're gonna love it. So let me just show you on this lovely tour of my crib. It's a bunch of fish trophies. And sadly, since this isn't the resale row fish, it doesn't dance. The fish just doesn't dance, which sadly marks my review down by a few points. Um, sadly, this definitely puts some percentages on how I feel about this down a little bit lower than what I would like because of that fact that they don't dance. But, however, they can make it up in many ways. Um, of course, you got this cool little rug design. It's kind of based on a wave. Um, I really like it. Now, I do not know if these trophies are a part of the thing. I'm pretty sure they are, but they also could be something they added, but I'm pretty sure they're a part of the fishing thing, so that's nice. That's really cool. Um, but also, th this house is just full of fish trophies. I'm sorry. Uh, whoever lives here is probably obsessed with fishing. Like, there's a fish in here. There's fish in here. Like, I, I don't even know anymore. I'm going mad. There's fish in here. There's fish everywhere. And, and a random llama floaty. But there's fish everywhere. <laughs> And a, and a ram llama floaty. But fish! And a ram llama floaty. But fish! But yeah. There's just a lot of fish! <laughs> God! <laughs> but yeah, but yeah um, there's a lot of fish. Um, a lot of fish trophies. Just pulling the point. That you, if you buy this, you get a lot of fish trophies. Which is pretty nice and pretty cool. And once again, sadly they don't dance like in Retail Row. I know, I'm sorry, I've been doing a default dance a lot. Uh, I, I don't apologize. <laughs> Just deal with it. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it for the builds. Now, overall, this does not um, include the overall builds they have as well. You got, like, new floor pieces as well, which I really like. I really like the tile floors that they have here. Basically helps off if I decide to make a pizzeria build inspired by FNAF or something cool like that. Um, the cool little wood floors that they have as well um, are pretty nice um, as well. You got a lot of this dine-in stuff that looks way closer to Rose than what we currently have in the city area over there. Because I'm currently using the um, stone that we got right here. So this would definitely um, work for Rose if I ever decided to change it out. But um, we also got the um, these white vibe floor here, the beachy white floor, which I literally like the texture of. And you got the takeout floor as well. Now the walls are pretty cool too. There's a lot of brand new walls with this. You got the um, kind of these neat looking inside out walls. You got kind of inside out. Um, they're two side walls. And of course over here you got more of the um, bills. I really like this blue color scheme. It's really nice. The Diner, um, Greasy Grove stuff looks cool as well. Overall, you also get brand new stairs and this blue thing here, which I really like. You also got blue fences, which work very well. So if I was uh, like, basically if you want to have a park design or something, you can use it for that. Um, especially also these two. You also get a lot of new roof stuff as well. If you go up here, you can see it. The um, You got these blue roofs and you got some other stuff too, which could be useful for your builds. And yeah, that's about it um, for this. Now, I'm gonna check around. I do not think I missed anything, but I could have. Nope, I think we're good. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, overall, I really like them, okay? I really like the idea. I think they are perfect. I think they do, they're incredible. And I really like the idea of it, um, having more builds that are inspired by skins, possibly um, collabs, and especially Lego sets as well. Um, if they do collabs, that would be a definitely a positive. It makes sense of why you have to pay for it, because unlike Creative Mode, we do not have anything from the Marvel POYs or DC stuff um, in Creative Mode due to the fact they're licensed. Now, if in this case, if since they're paid for, you can probably have licensed stuff. I don't know if that is how it works. By I think that's how it works, pretty much. We could have licensed stuff in LEGO Fortnite, if that's the case. And that is a positive. That is something that we do not have in creative, and that gives Leo Fortnite an, a one-up thing. And I think there's a lot of possibilities for that, especially with stuff that's based on Lego sets like Injago or um, City or what we're seeing with the Lions Gates Castle build. That's crazy, um, to say the least. Um, that's pretty similar, in my opinion, to this to the castle we already have because I thought they're dissimilar. 
they're basically inspired by each other. I, I don't know. I I don't know. Do Chima or Nexo Knights? I love Nexo Knights. It's such a obscure theme, but I think it's amazing. I hope they add it to Lego Fortnite, even though they haven't made sets in years. <laughs> um, something else they could do is possibly stuff like Bionicle, which I don't know how they would do. Um, possibly. Um, I'm trying to raw ram things here, um, but yeah, it would be cool if they had more stuff like that to the game. Um, but also, like I said earlier, Epic has said they're adding free kits as well um, as they add biomes to the mode and stuff to the game to continue adding it, which makes sense because currently we only really have free biomes, which are the desert, the snowy biome, and the plains. Um, so it'd be cool to get like a jungle, a dark forest, or possibly a mystical area biome or even some funner like funny biomes like a uh, haunted forest or a uh, candy biome or something fun like random ideas that makes it more unique from other games and other sandbox games to give fortnite more of lego fortnite identity because i believe it's gonna be something great and that's why i like covering lego fortnite because i see a lot of potential in it my main concern right now and my only criticism with the bundles itself is the pricing which I mentioned before is like 2,000 V-Bucks for this whole thing over here. This is all 2,000 V-Bucks. That is 1,200 V-Bucks. And the Lion Gates Castle that is releasing, that bundle is releasing on the 16th for 2,500 V-Bucks. And that is crazy in my opinion. <laughs> um, it's not affordable to everyone. And you basically, if you want to get stuff, is really much that you have to plan it. And I see a why, I understand why people were upset about this. and. I understand why Epic are doing this um, in a way, but also I like to think there could be a middle ground in a way that you can probably lower the prices in a way, and I don't know if anyone from Epic is watching this, but here's my idea and kind of my suggestion for what you guys can do, so you probably make both sides a bit more happy in a way. Um, I think something that could work is basically having the main bundles just lower the price from like 2,000 V-Bucks to 1,200 V-Bucks for the full bundle. In this case, it would make it more affordable for everyone, but also have the props that are separate from the building, like kind of have a prop bundle that's separate from the building bundles, even though the props would be a part of the building bundles, but have the props, <laughs> I don't know if this makes sense at all, but basically have the props in a way that's separated, have the like have their own unique bundle that's kind of separated from the main bundle, even though they would be, like I, I know what I'm saying, but have that cost 600 V-Bucks in a way that makes it more affordable for people that just wants the props and not the actual walls or building stuff. And just want the props to decorate their worlds because i know for a fact that in a lot of cases i just want a television man i want to kind of do some stuff with my like tv i want some uh, unique things and of course i forgot to add the um this stuff in here this is also stuff that you can find in the bundle you got this dish it out stuff there's some few things in here um i think those are the only things that are actually from the derber in here so good thing i caught that before we ended the video but I think that would be a perfect middle ground. I don't know if I'm making, I don't know if that's not any sense, made any sense, but I hope it does. But I, I think that would be the perfect way to make a middle ground for both sides here. The community and for um, Epic and um, Lego. Because of course I understand both sides of the story and I really enjoy the games and I really enjoy um, Lego Fortnite in general. And I see a lot of potential in Lego Fortnite. I think it can become an incredible sandbox game and sandbox mode inside um, Fortnite itself and I think that simple like tweak to the pricing would help a lot of players help make a lot more players happy and make it more affordable to everyone and have more opportunities for people to kind of get their hands on this cool stuff but yeah um, but with that being said I really enjoy all this and I think this is like the right step in the direction if they just treat the if you guys just treat the price a bit and yeah if i see a bright future ahead for lego fortnite if things do get better and i really think this is cool and a decent change and i can't wait to see what you guys do next and yeah but yeah i hope you guys didn't you enjoy this video if you guys could um i would like to hear your thoughts down below what you get you guys think um, but yeah, with that being said, um, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, everyone.